Ayo, duckies, Andy Lippy here. September is here. The best time to increase your revenue as a Twitch streamer. The best thing to do in September is to do a subathon. This is where you extend your stream length for every subscriber, cheer, and even donations. There are so many different methods of having a subathon timer on your stream, but I think this might be the easiest ever. Make sure if you enjoy the video, then let myself and YouTube know by tippity tapping that like button and subscribe so you don't miss any streaming secrets and tips. Let's crack on and find out how it works. Put your rocket for the stone. As you may or may not know, my wife and I are having a baby. We're having a little boy. I am hosting an uncapped babython on the 28th of September over at twitch.tv forward slash Andy Lippy, starting at midday British time. This is why I wanted a nice, easy way to implement a subathon timer into my stream. This is to raise money to help us with the baby and for me to keep making this content for you guys. Speaking of making content, did you know you can completely elevate your content with today's video sponsor? Owned.tv. Owned.tv have absolutely everything to upgrade your stream and make it look more professional. They have a huge selection of professional themed overlays, alert packages, emotes, and tons more to get you looking like a professional streamer without any of the technical know-how. The cherry on top is that Owned have allowed me to give you guys a massive 50% off anything on their website using offer code andy50 at checkout all the links are in the description and they do go a huge way to supporting the channel thank you own.tv for sponsoring this portion of the video so this subathon timer is actually a browser source that you can put into obs it's a cheeky widget that was created by harvey toadface i will leave a link to it in the description below just give it a little click it will open in your internet browser make sure you are logged into the stream elements website using your twitch information once you open the overlay it creates you can edit it to however you like on the left if you select the subathon layer you can select settings if you know how to code you can open the editor and adjust everything in there manually for everyone else we have options just below this if you open the time config menu we can adjust how many hours you'd like the stream timer to start with and what the maximum time the stream will last in hours now we can set how many minutes each subscriber adds to the timer set the minimum bit donation that will affect the timer i like to set this to 100 as it is one dollar then we set how many minutes 100 bits adds we'll leave this as one minute we can set the currency for donations too and how much the minimum donation amount is and how many minutes it will add i'm going to set both of these to one that will mean for every one pound donated it will increase the timer by one minute in the next section style we can edit how the timer looks we can select the font, what colour text we want, what background colour we want, and also what border colour we want. In the final section, info panel, we can choose if we want to use an on-screen information banner that will tell the viewers how they can add time to the subathon and how much time each interaction is worth. If I press show info panel, we can see exactly what it says. It will have the same style as what we set in the previous section. We can adjust a few settings such as how often we would like this to appear on stream and also how long it should stay on screen for. Once we are happy with the changes we have made, we can press save in the top right corner and press the little link symbol here. Now we can jump into OBS and add a new source. We will select browser source. Call the source a name such as subathon timer. If you want to know some tips on organizing your OBS sources, then definitely check out my video up here and also in the description. Once we have created the source, we need to make sure we paste the link we copied into the URL box. We then need to change the width to 1920 and the height to 1080. Once that is done, hit OK. We now have the subathon timer ready to use in OBS. We can move it around, add filters to it, and pretty much do anything we want to it. 
In my overlay, I have actually added an outline to it and made it so only one corner is rounded to match the rest of my overlay. Hopefully this has helped you guys out too. I have put all the links in the description that you need. If you have found this tutorial useful, then help me out and hit that like button and subscribe if you are new around here too. A big thanks to all the people that help me make this content free for you. You can also join these incredible people by joining either Coffee or Patreon as it will go a huge way to support in the channel. A big huge shout out to Bongo, Fever Team, Marcus Vasquez and Romulo Souza for being my top supporters. I could not do this without you guys. If you want to see the video I did on organizing OBS scenes, then click here. And if you want to see my playlist on everything to do with streaming, then click over here. See you over there. Put your rock in for the stone.